Hey everybody, welcome back to another video with me. So I'm Nikki, if you don't know that, if you're just joining me, welcome, I'm glad you stopped by. If you're a returning subscriber or if you're a returning visitor, hey, today is actually all about me. <laughs> yes, it is. And I'll tell you why. <sighs> I walked past my Cricut machine far too many times and I kept saying I was going to do something about it. I kept saying I was going to make me a cover. Today's the day. Today's the day because I walked past it on the shelf and I was annoyed. So let me show you something. All right. The Cricut. Okay. I use it when I'm sewing sometimes. Okay. <laughs> I got this last Christmas or something and it stayed in the box for months. I didn't use it. And then all of a sudden I opened it and I was like, hey, I got to find a home for you. Okay. Well, with that, finding the home for it on a shelf, right? You know, use it all the time. But let me show you what it came covered in, which is my problem. This. This was my problem. You see this? All right. If you have a cricket, <laughs> then you know what I mean. It came covered in this. I don't even know what kind of material this is. But so it still has the cricket sticker. And this is the part that I love. Look at what this says. This says... It says, keep it looking new. Reuse this bag. I don't know, Cricut, because this is what happened after just a few times. You can't reuse this. You cannot reuse this. The idea, I'm going to show you, was that, I mean, it worked for a while. You know, because clearly I didn't make a cover for it yet. But look at this. So the idea is that this went over it right that's how it came and they said reuse the bag right well look so that's what i'm doing today if you know somebody that has a cricket if they don't have a cover on it i'm gonna help you make them a gift for christmas and it's gonna be super super quick all right yeah i'm not walking past my cricket one more day without a cover so Let's get started. Here is where, this is what I wanted to show you guys. Oh, by the way, this is also going to work for your sewing machine. Of course, you can do side panels. I'll talk to you about that in a second. But this idea is also going to work for your sewing machine. I have a few sewing machines, and I should say that I've also been plotting to make covers for them, and I haven't done that yet either. Okay, because I'm too busy doing other stuff. <laughs> okay let's take a look at this fabric for a minute so you know like when you normally get fabric right the fabric comes like this it comes on the boat it comes the um the 23 inch well depending on the width of the boat that you pick cotton fabrics you know they come um 43 or 44 inch boat right so they come like this so that when it's folded on the boat it's about 22 inches wide well the sewing machine covers and the Cricut covers, um, if you choose a fabric that has a pattern, you're going to have to open up that bolt, okay? And you're going to have to fold it the opposite way, okay? In order to create this because when you measure the length of your either sewing machine or the Cricut machine, that you can bless someone with, with a cover for the holidays or something, right? Um, they're longer, they're at around, giving them a little bit of room, they're at around like eh, 23 to 25 inches, okay? And so um, what I did was obviously, I didn't cut this yet because I wanted you to see it. Um, and this is where learning pattern placement comes into play, okay? So you have to open it the opposite way, but now look at this. This would seriously be like a five minute sewing project. But the point is, is that look at my raw edge here and look at my patterns here. So you see this? This is the top, clearly, and that's the bottom, right? You can tell because of the writing and the pictures. Well, if I turn this over, so let's just imagine this is the front, okay? 
if I turn this over, look, you see? Well, it's upside down, right? So where sometimes we want to take the shortcut and just cut one piece of fabric, we can't. We can't for this. You have to be um, aware of your pattern placement, which is why um, I now need to cut this in half. Okay? So that I make sure that my fabrics are facing, I mean, not my fabrics. So I make sure that my pictures, the patterns, are facing the way that they need to face okay that's what i wanted to show you so look at this now so now i'm going to have both of them you see how this is now the right way okay and now i'm going to flip this around and that's the right way both of them are now facing up and now i can sew okay so we're going to put pretty side to pretty side all right and all i'm going to do i'm going to set this to the side for a moment that's the lining that i'm choosing to do this is probably the first project i've ever done that i'm not putting interface and the reason for that is because i want it to comfortably fit where i can maneuver it over the machine i am not looking for stiffness for this okay so i seriously i think this is the first thing that i've ever never put interface okay so sew around three sides one two and three all three sides leave that bottom open there and make sure you're sewing the top part not the bottom portion okay all right here we go i'm gonna be so happy after this i am never gonna walk past my machine again without it having a cover Now, if you want to, go ahead and put some Pelon 809 on there. I don't need any Pelon 809. Um, I want to be able to lift it off. I want to be, you know, quickly. I don't want it to be stiff. dust does to your um to your bobbin unit so you know i'm it i'm it does the same thing to the cricket you don't want dust in there <laughs> okay what i'm going to do right now before we go to the lining i want some boxed corners okay and because i want the box corners what i'm going to do is um create the three inch um, mark, I want to do a three inch corner. Um, uh, let me use this instead. <laughs> so, okay, we're going to use this. And so, okay, let's see, I'm going to scoot this down to my three. All right, I can also do that if I wanted to, to line this up with my edge, okay, at the three inch mark, make my mark here. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you know how I do boxed corners. I don't do triangles, um, you know, with the, with the final product. So I'm making my three inch box. Okay, and now I'm just going to connect these real quickly. I could use my my ruler, but we're doing all three inch corners. 
I'm going to do this same thing on the other side, but so I don't have to measure it, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut, all right, I'm being sure not to cut past my line right there. I want the box so that it sits comfortably on the top. And all I'm going to do is use this as my template. I'm going to line that up right there. And I'm going to cut my other part, my other box. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. That's all. Let's sew these boxes. So go ahead, pull that fabric out. If I can get it. <laughs> Why? Okay. <laughs> pull it out. Let's sew across these seams. Make sure your seams are lined up together. Okay. Seams are lined up. Looking good. And we're going to sew straight across this way. Turn your seams so that they go in opposite direction. And I'm going to do the same thing to this side. I'm going to pull out my pull out my fabric. Okay line up those seams and again i'm going to make sure that my seam is facing the same way that this seam is going so this one is headed going to my right your left i'm gonna make sure that this one goes to my right as well so it's not twisted okay creating a bulk okay and i'm gonna sew right across yeah if you know somebody that has a cricket do it do it make them a cover I just happened to have purchased the perfect fabric a long time ago. And I thought I was gonna sew myself some curtains from this fabric, curtains from my craft room here. Clearly that never got done, but I'm putting it to use now, right? How cool is that? Craft is gonna craft, um, enjoy the little things, totally appropriate. All right. Let's go ahead to the lining piece and look at that. I cut this on the fold, so it's already basically ready for me. But what we're going to do, I'm going to sew down the two sides on the left and the right. I don't have to sew this folded edge because I cut mine on the fold, okay? So let me turn this so that my right sides face each other. Okay, I'm going to sew down just the left and the right. If you didn't, um, if you didn't cut yours on the fold, or you know, if you didn't have the right amount of fabric for it, go ahead and just sew all three sides the way I just did. Okay. All right, here we go. I love when you're working on a project and you just have that perfect setting all ready for you. Okay. And now I'm going over to my other side. Make sure you're back stitching. Okay. 
And so this idea, like I said, the same thing, it can work for your sewing machine. Um, let me get my template over here just because, you know, it just saves me from measuring again. But it's the same three inches. Okay. So you could either mark it, I'll mark it, but normally I would just go ahead and, um, I would just go ahead and use the ruler, but I'm just going to, um, just draw the template out here. Okay. Cause we want the same exact sizes. So I cut three inch boxes because I measured across, and I'll show you when we're done. I measured across um, to find out the depth of the Cricut, um, you know, which is how I figured out what I needed. Okay. Um, so I needed about six inches. And um, that's why I cut three inch boxes because three and three is going to give me six inches. I can put this in the garbage now. Great. Let's do those boxes the same way we did the others. Pull out that material. Okay. And well, let's do it. And of course, I don't have a seam at the top, but I have that fold. So I'm just looking at that fold and just making sure that that fold is lined up. But And now for the other side, same thing. We're going to create the corners. If I can grab it, there we go. <laughs> that folded line right there i'm making pretend that's my seam let me make sure which way my okay good all right okay and i'm going to sew straight across again <laughs> get under there okay <laughs> I'm gonna be so happy, oh my goodness. This is gold, these are goals. You know how many things I sew and I keep saying I'm gonna sew this cover? <laughs> uh, little things guys, little things make me happy. I thought I was gonna have all this time during quarantine to like do stuff. Nope, didn't. <laughs> Okay, so at this point, all I want to do is I want to put um, pretty side to my pretty side, okay, to in order to close this up. So I'm putting pretty side of my lining into the pretty side of my outer fabric. I'm going to pin at the seams right here. I'm just going to pin this. I'm gonna go ahead over to this part and I'm going to find the seam. I'm gonna do the same thing, pinning it. Yes, what made it even better was that I didn't want the, um, the Pellon in it. Like I said, if you want Pellon, if you want interfacing yours to make it stiff and sturdy, go ahead. I didn't want it for my shelf because I wanna be able to just put it down and shove it. <laughs> Okay. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to start at the seam because, you know, I love starting to sew at seams. Actually, let's start a little bit away from the seam. So we're going to sew all the way around. We're going to leave a little portion of this open. So I'm going to pin. <laughs> we got to sew all the way around because we want to close this up but we got to turn it right side out. So leave yourself any way you want to a little hole that you can turn it, um, that you can turn the, your cover right side out. Okay. That's going to be my space right there. All right. So I'm going to start right here at my seam. 
and go all the way around. Mm -hmm. Make sure your raw edges stays together. portion open so I'm a back stitch and turn this right side out I thought I felt and there it is I was like I thought I felt another pin okay so I'm just going to turn it right side out now What I'm going to like about this is that it's, it'll be nice and easy to take off and put in the laundry, you know, into wash. Okay. Um, at this point, go ahead and what you want to do is grab your iron. Okay. I'm going to roll my seams just so that I make sure that I get um, my seams rolling them <laughs> rolling so that I can um, flatten it out with the iron there we go my um, fingers here okay we want to make sure that the lining fabric does not roll up on the outside of your project okay and ironing is going to help you out with that all right all right all right so i'm gonna flatten that out if you guys have watched my channels, you know that I'm a huge fan of ironing everything. <laughs> and so it makes it all, it makes it look nice. It makes it look clean. It makes it look professional. Um, and not to mention the fact that it helps you out when you want to top stitch um, inside. When you want to top stitch. If you're sewing layers upon layers it's going to help flatten those layers for you to go underneath your foot so all i'm doing is ironing and i'm flattening as i'm turning prepping this so you want to grab the fabric at the seam so we've got to roll it between your fingers it might take a little work guys there we go. <laughs> and so, I say so a lot. I know. <laughs> Making a conscious effort not to say it. <laughs> All right. quarter of an inch okay so at this point we're gonna go all the way around and we're gonna stitch up um put like a quarter of an um a quarter of an inch an eighth of an inch all the way around all the way around um the project and then that will close up your project and put the finishing touches all right, let's see. I'm going to start. Um, be sure to backstitch. Oh. oh, that slid.
All right. Let me just cut my stragglies, my threads. Oh, look at that. Oh, all right. <sighs> Let me now say goodbye to this thing. <laughs> I'm going to, uh, <sighs> this is every time, you know, you try to protect your machines from the dust, like no word guys, no word of a lie, look, how Cricut says that you can reuse this, like, unless you're going to repackage something else, but in any case, I can officially now put it in the garbage because I have this new cover of course I'll okay so what I did here the pens the pens here um, if you leave your pens in the thing to stick up here um, this is why I left it a little bit extra you know roomy here in case you do leave the pens here some people um, actually uh, have a different storage system for their pens because we have the little draw thing inside but this works for me I'm happy because you know what it just means like less dust is going in here and so again if you want to go ahead and you know put the Pelon interface I didn't need it I purposely wanted it like this otherwise you guys know I love interface and I would have done that okay if you have any questions go ahead put them down below but um you can use that same concept for creating um a cover for your sewing machine okay just measure the height of it of the tallest part of your machine and then figure this out here you know for the um for the depth that you might need and um to know how wide to do your boxes but that's all that's all for now okay i'm gonna see you guys back in the next video and i'll have something for you and not for me Okay? Bye, guys.